Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. Stay tuned. Some very key things are happening to the channel and it's about to get really, really exciting. Stay tuned because some key things are happening, if you know what I mean. I am at Keys Motorsports. The new Keys Motorsports 2.0 It is absolutely awesome. And today, Brian over here is gonna key my car. Stay tuned. So I am at Keys Motorsports, the brand new one. If you guys haven't seen the video, you should definitely check it out. This place is humongous. There's storage, there's places for parts, the dyno uh, that just got revealed. And uh, Brian here is actually gonna be doing the Key Crank Hub, uh, the new redesigned four pin one. Uh, Brian, you've never talked about the Crank Hub before on YouTube, so this is your opportunity to kind of, uh, yeah, being sarcastic there, he's done a ton of them. <laughs> so anyway, if you don't know about it, he's gonna give you a very quick Cliff Notes version of what the point of the Crank Hub is. So as many of you know, the S55 motor in the M2 competition, the M3 and the M4 have a weak point, which is the crank hub, which if you go on forums or Facebook groups, you're going to see all about it. Basically what happens is from the factory, this is um, an aftermarket one that we have here that features four different pins to, to make sure that it's going to be super secure. Um, this was originally designed by Max PSI with two pins and then later down the line, there was another two pins added just for extra security. Um, but on an OEM hub, you have this sprocket right here, which spins independently, and this sprocket, which spins independently. And these are going to control your oil pump, and they're also going to control your timing. But what happens is, as you start to turn up the boost, and this does happen in some stock cars, but it's a lot more common to have it um, fail in a car that's been tuned and upgraded. But this will actually spin, and it can throw your car out of timing. Now, some guys get away where it spins, but it doesn't spin fully, so the motor is still saveable. Um, other people need to do a, a complete engine swap because your pistons will destroy your valves, and that is a bad day. So what we're gonna do on Brad's car is we are going to install this. Basically, you're going to um, drill four small holes on the crankshaft, and this piece is going to get inserted in there, and as you can see, this, instead of freely spinning, is going to get inserted into here. And this sprocket here is one piece with the rest of the hub to make sure everything is extra secure and it's not gonna go anywhere. Awesome, so that was actually a much more thorough explanation of the crank hub than I could have given, so uh, that's right from the uh, expert. I want to uh, tell him some other goodies that we're gonna be putting on my car today. Um, over here, we're going to upgrade some coil packs. We have some new NGK spark plugs, which are going to be added. Um, just because we're gonna have everything apart, so why not? <laughs> uh, so there you have it. Uh, we are doing everything from uh, building up the car, safety precaution, putting it in the crank hub uh, while it's open, replacing uh, the coils, the spark plugs. So that's it, guys. They were working on my car. I told you some really awesome things were happening. I will take you around, uh, show you this place, how massive it is, so much space for activities. Uh, <laughs> but uh, this is it. Here we go.
you have it guys. That's a little tour of the new Keys 2.0. I'm leaving my car to Brian. I'm sure it's in good hands. He's gonna take care of it. Uh, send me updates along the way. And I'll be back in a couple days to pick it up and uh, see what piece it is. Catch you guys next time. Yeah.